voted the proposal to lift the suspension of licenses for 13 registered money remittance providers. In the light of this, I direct the Central Bank of Kenya to immediately issue comprehensive regulations that guide the operations of MPRs upon which their suspension would be lifted. It's a decision that brings relief to people like Shamsa Abdullahi, who relies on $200 she receives from her husband who works in Kenya. It's the only way she can pay for food, medicine and tuition for her children. And she's not alone. There are many others. In a country where figures show more than half the population is jobless, it's a dire reprieve. The closure had affected the humanitarian work here. The NGOs and agencies received money through the Hawala network. It is a reprieve that they are about to be reopened and we are happy. But we must consider other options. We have to think of other alternatives, such as if this happens again, we are prepared. Kenya is our neighbor. We should work together. We are happy that they have considered our plea and are reopening the Hawalas. We are happy. It's a support worth $1.3 billion, an annual income that dwarfs consolidated foreign aid. And that is more than any overseas direct investment. But it has one big flow. Governments and financial institutions argue that transfer firms lack controls to monitor the money. Not many people in Somalia have jobs or bank accounts. Money from relatives overseas is the only way they can pay for sustenance. And the Hawala network is the most efficient way to send and receive money. It's pretty simple. The king abroad makes deposits with any of the transfer agencies. The Hawala subsidiary is credit recipients in Somalia, all within an hour or less. It may not be traceable, but its biggest security is trust. It has worked well, but there's no telling what the new regulations will introduce or when they will be effected. For now, though, the prospects of having the channel reopened is enough to keep lots of families here hopeful. Mohamed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishi.